people who compromise when they are suffering are destroying a great destiny they are destroying a great future when you compromise when things are not okay with you you are destroying a great future there's a great glory you are burying when you are faithless there's a great glory you are burying when you compromise people have taken sacrifice to be the money you give to pastor and god is saying no it is the suffering that comes out when you choose to be faithful that is the spiritual sacrifice that changes your life that is the spiritual sacrifice that transforms your destiny that is the sacrifice that break curses that is the sacrifice that plug you from generational curses that is the sacrifice that destroys the powers of demons in your household that is a sacrifice that will make sure what your family suffer does not come upon your life that's a sacrifice that will plug you from every works of the devil in your family is the sacrifice of faithfulness in the midst of suffering not selling your father's land and giving to greedy pastors and thieves in the name of God that's not the sacrifice that's how people have given those ones and their lives remain the same the pastor's life changes when you give and you got her you leave the church you don't live with the money the money remains there because they tell you whatever you drop on the altar she should remain on the altar which altar altar of thieves but thank God for divine judgment he said the day they are caught they will pay seven times some preachers are already pain that's how they die they don't wake up they sleep they don't wake up pain. some are pain with diseases it's just that you don't know they are managing terrible diseases in their lives because of what they have done to the people of god some of them their children are becoming teeth god is aligned demons to destroy their children the wild beast can you imagine a pastor is the one sending her daughter to to the clubhouse to go and sleep around with men and come back he said because there's nothing we can do what did you do with god's people the way you handle god's people the man how god handle your own children is very dangerous that's why if god have not called you don't preach you ruin god's people raped them collected their money lied and said god say what god have not said and god is saying you touch my children i touch your children you touch my children i touch your children you touch the children of God I touch your children that's what God is saying to them are you understanding me they cover a lot of nonsense a lot of wickedness in their households I'm not saying that children don't face attacks but when you see it going perpetually without intervention from God no that is divine judgment are you understanding me no that is divine judgment because instead of them to teach the right gospel and teach the people of god to offer spiritual sacrifices sacrifice of their faith in christ sacrifice of faithfulness and suffering they are teaching them to bring the lands from their father's house to bring all their salaries and say that is a sacrifice they say, they say that it, it must it must not it must cost you something and and you give everything you give your trinket you give money money finish you give trinket trinket finish you begin to appear in church like one slave that they rescue from a ship in the in, in the atlantic ocean you that used to wear good and and some shameful prophetess if you collect your week i mean shameless if you collect your week you come to shoe with wonderful to church with wonderful shoes why she's preaching and doing like this she's eyeing your leg in the kind of hairstyle oh my daughter that your hair is good very soon a prophecy is coming out to collect that thing from your head they don't even want you to look like a queen they want you to look like a slave then you appear in misery and not see them as your only way of escape you think god will sit in heaven and look at them judgment is coming are you understanding me the sacrifice is not your week the sacrifice is not your shoe the sacrifice is not your clothes the sacrifice is your faithfulness in the midst of suffering the, your faith in Christ Jesus and what it costs you look at what Paul said concerning his own he said from henceforth let no one trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus the consequence of saying yes to Jesus that is 
the sacrifice, the marks of the Lord Jesus. Not the money you give to pastor. Some of you need to go and collect your land documents back from those tips. And as they, if you don't return back my time, the God of heaven will judge you. You need to send such messages to them. If you don't return back the money you took, the God of heaven will judge you because you stole from me. You never told me the truth. You never told me the sacrifice that God is looking for. You told me the one you are looking for. Quoting scriptures to steal listen carefully these are the things that make jesus to be crying in heaven over all these thieves you call fathers these are the things he's crying these are the things that are making jesus weep, weep over the church how many people on earth even you hearing me today have you ever had in your life that this is a sacrifice and how many years have you been in church you've been under the so-called fathers have they told you this because they can't it will not make them rich they have to lie shamelessly lying and because the people don't read the bible the people believe them that's why when we preach we preach with fury and they call it hate it's not hate it's called the zeal of the lord it has consumed us we preach knowing what people are, are, are losing in christ we preach knowing that they are on their way to hell we preach knowing that they have not met the lord so we preach with fury so that the people can wake up from slumber and tell those pot belly people no more will you sit over my life because you've robbed me and ruined me completely without me knowing the lord i told you before that there will be riot in hell people will look for pastors to beat them up 